all right guys so welcome to this um, uh, lecture video and um, here we're going to talk about a reinforcement learning framework previously we we talked about the the components of reinforcement learning and how they are linked together we're going to look now at what uh, the, the framework for reinforcement learning and we're going to start with the fact that um, the reinforcement learning is uh, obeys a Markov property right and reinforcement learning is a Markov decision process. What, what, what does it mean? What do we mean by that, right? So there's the Markov pro property and of reinforcement learning, and uh, it uh, has uh, uh, features of a Markov decision process. A Markov decision process simply means that we make a decision based on our current state, right? And not based on any past or future information, right? So for example the example of day trading so if i want to buy a, a stock today i will make a, a decision based on the information that i have about that stock today so that's what the markov decision process uh, states so and so uh if we look at our framework that we already put up before like uh, this loop we know that um, our agent is the one taking making decisions is is taking action so those decisions are just the actions the agent is taking so for it to obey the markov property the observation that we give it is going to be the observation of one state so if we are making a decision at time t equals to 2 we are only going to give the information about t equals to 2 right so it's going to see the price 22k and if we're uh, making a decision at time t equals to 3 is going to see the price 21k is going to be sent to the agent so at any point in time the agent only receives information about its current state so that's what the markov decision process is uh, we're going to explain this further and uh, there are different ways of handling reinforcement learning problems so so moving further uh let's look at uh what the reinforcement learning loop so it's a sequential decision making process we know that reinforcement learning is a sequential decision making process and so how does that sequence look like so we want to look at the reinforcement learning loop sequence so we know that we make a decision every time we get uh an observation we make a decision, we get a reward, we go to the next observation. So that's the sequential loop of reinforcement learning. And so what happens is that we always get a state, we take an action, we get a reward, we go to the next state. So you can think of this like if you have 30 days, if you're trading on a monthly basis, so on the first day of the month, you see the, 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 the price and then you, you take an action, you buy or sell, you make profit or you lose and then you go to the next day so that's the example that's how we can put it so in the reinforcement learning uh, uh, sequence so you know that you start at state at, so at state s0 right so at state st you have a state when you're given that state you take an action a0 right so when you take that action you get a reward for that action right and then you move then to the next state s1 so when you move to the next state s1 then you need to make where then that that state s1 is shown to the agent that the agent now takes another action based on that state and then it gets a reward based on that action and then it moves to another state so this process continues until we reach the terminal state or the last state we're going to explain that in uh, what the terminal state or the last state is so for example um, if you're trading on a monthly basis so your terminal state is your is the last day of the month so that's your last day of trade right so if we want to put this together we can say that um, you can see that the reinforcement learning loop outputs state action rewards and the next day right so this is the output so in every looping sequence you have a state that state based on that state we take an action based on that action we get a reward and then we move to the next state so in 
in one in 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 one loop we have this sequence right in one loop so this is one loop and we have so many of these loops which forms the reinforcement learning sequence right so we can just state that an agent receives a state so here we are dealing with an agent it receives a state from the environment right and then based on that state the agent takes an action and the uh, so when it takes an action when you take an action you get a reward and then you transition to the next state right we're going to discuss how uh, that reward is actually given to the agent in, in 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 a couple of videos ahead and then so this process repeats itself till the last state so this is the reinforcement learning loop so if you're trading for a month this agent is going to do this for a month and is going to calculate the total reward right which is the goal of the agent to maximize its cumulative reward so at the end of the month uh, for example, it's going to calculate the total reward it has get, it has gotten, and that will be its expected return, which is the goal that the agent wants to achieve, right? And so, uh, the, there's a central idea in reinforcement learning, which is the reward hypothesis. So this reward defines the behavior of the agent, right? And take note that this is the central idea of reinforcement learning. Right. And what is the goal of the agent? Like we mentioned, the goal of the agent is to maximize his expected return. And in the case of day trading, maybe you, you, you put your period for a month is to maximize the, the total profit it makes in a month. So that's the goal of the agent. Right. So the best behavior of the agent is the behavior that it gets the highest return. So this is the behavior that we want to find. Right. And then, um, just to put uh, everything to tie uh, the bolts, to put the bolts and knots together, we want to emphasize that we have an environment, right? So this environment can look something like this. So if you remember, we said uh, reinforcement learning is a Markov decision process. So we have these days, right? These different time lines. And then in a particular timeline, this environment is going to produce a state, right? And based on that one state, we are going to take an action. So our agent is going to take an action. And when that agent takes an action, is going to get a reward or is going to move to a new state, right? And is going to get a reward based on that state that it has move to so it's going to move to a new state t3 and it's going to get a reward after moving to that state right so the next state and the reward can be interchanged here but uh, this is just a, a straightforward flow that i put together and so this is uh what the reinforcement learning framework is so if we look at this picture that we've been using we know that this defines the sequential loop Right. This is this, the, the reinforcement learning loop. And we can see that it's a Markov decision process. At every step, we get one state and the agent takes an action and gets a reward. So our decision is based on one state. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.